the Carroll College women's basketball team started the season 2-3, and three, but has since jumped into the national conversation with big contributions from key players across the board, especially from three experienced guards whose leadership has helped the young players mature. Bailey Snelling, Kaylee Junkermeyer, and Katie Esty have led the Saints to a top 20 ranking and a great opportunity to make the national tournament. We have amazing chemistry between all three of us, and we know where we're going to be. We know how we play. We know what kind of shots we want. We know what kind of um, rebounds. Like She knows where to go, and I think just all that chemistry uh, built up through the years has really helped us. Having the experience that we have as our front line with the guards is really important and to have them as leaders. I mean, the little girls on the bench who haven't been in positions like that looking out at us saying, no, this is my third year, this is their fourth year. Like we've been in positions like these and we haven't always come out on top and we know what it feels like to come out on the bottom. So seeing the downside of it especially helps us when we're in the midst of the moment knowing that we're not going to settle for a loss. Ah, I feel very lucky. Uh, we've had had a lot of good times. I mean, we've had some bad times too, but I think that's made us stronger as, as friends and teammates. And it's, it's been a great four years for Kaylee and then three years with Katie. The success of this year's team was in question early when Esty suffered from an illness that kept her off the court and Junkermeyer had a shoulder injury that threatened to derail her season. There was a point in time where it was just Bailey and Kaylee had just hurt her shoulder as well. And Kaylee and I are sitting there like, we cannot let Bailey go out like this. Like this cannot be her last year without us. So it was really tough. I remember I actually didn't get to go on one of the trips and I was at home watching the games online and it was, it's hard. I mean, I love these girls and we battle every single day for, so for me not to be able to go out there and like battle with them and like show them different things or like help them, I just, it sucked really bad. The three players were finally healthy at the same time and the Saints took off. The chemistry on the court was a big factor, and it was built over years of practice, games, and long bus trips. Well, we're always constantly together, road trips, um, school, like everyone has a class with another teammate. I mean, Bailey and I have the same major, so we're in all of our classes together. Um, and then outside of school, like we hang out, we go to dinner, we go to lunch, we do everything together. Uh, I don't, I have friends outside of basketball, but they're not as close as the friends that are inside of basketball. Forget this when you're at the college level, but you want everybody to have fun. Um, you want to you want to leave a mark, the upperclassmen, for the younger classmen that when they get older, that they're doing the same things, uh, performing in the classroom and on the floor. You just want to leave a good mark so it continues. The Saints close out the regular season Saturday against Rocky Mountain, but there is still a lot to prove for this team. We beat a 13th nationally ranked. We beat a two nationally ranked. We beat four, four nationally ranked. Um, we've proven a lot and to go out and end my season would be going to nationals, uh, kicking butt in nationals. For Junker Myers, there is no other player she would like to share her senior night festivities with than Bailey Snelling. The relationship is much more than what happens on the basketball court. Since freshman year we came together um, we, we battled it out together since freshman year. We have gone through so much and just we know each other really, really well and it's really um, nice to have her on the court. The Saints take on the Bears at 5.30 p.m. Saturday at the PE Center.